Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations given that f of x plus 4 equals x squared plus 9x plus 18. And what is f of x? So in this video, I'm going to be applying two different methods to solve this functional equation. If you have another method of solving this different from this, you just drop it in the comment box or you can pause this video and give it a try let's start with solution first so looking at the right hand side of this we have a quadratic because of the power of 2 so this function it has x plus 4 as its domain which equals x squared plus 9x plus 18 the first method that we are applying here is factorization method or we can call it form manipulation method so let's check this. The middle term here is known as the sum and uh, the other values here, which is 18, is known as the product of this equation. Let's consider 18. What are the factors of 18? When we have 18 multiplied by 1, then we can still have 9 multiplied by 2. And again, we have 6 multiplied by 3. So the other values which are negative, we don't need them here because... We need to look for a number that when we add this together, it gives us 9. And we multiply it, it gives us 18. 18 plus 1, that gives us 19. And this is 9. We are going to cancel this. And also, 9 plus 2, that gives us 11. We are going to cancel this as well. But only 6 plus 3, it gives us 9. That is, we go for 6 plus 3. And also, 6 times 3, it gives us 18. Then, let's try and replace it. We have f of x plus 4 equals x squared plus, instead of 9, we change it to 6 plus 3, then multiply by x plus 18. So after having this, we have this as x squared plus, let's open this, 6 times x, that is 6x plus 3 times x, we have it as 3x, and then plus 18. By grouping this into 2, we have this equals x squared plus 6x, which is in bracket, plus open bracket, 3x plus 18. Then, in the next step, we are going to have, uh, to factor out x here. By factoring out x, we have x into bracket of x squared divided by x, that gives us x, plus divide this one by x also, we have it as 6, plus let's take out 3 from here. When we take out 3, we have this becomes x plus 9, alright, x plus 6, because we are dividing, so if we divide this into by 3, we have 6, so therefore x plus 6 is common here. X plus 6 is common, then we take 1 and combine the coefficient together, which is x plus 3. Then also we have x plus 6 as one of these. Since this is what we have, and everything here is equivalent to f of x plus 4. This has been factorized. I hope by now, apart, uh, aside from solving a functional equation, we should have understand better how to factorize a quadratic equations without guessing. As far as we know the prime factor of the constant term there, then we can now check of which of these we can add together that gives us the middle values. Then we factor easily like this. Then here is x plus 4 as the domain because I'm going to be applying form manipulation. x plus 4 is our domain here. And none of these resemble x plus 4. That is why it is needed for us to make sure that every single thing here, it looks like x plus 4. And what we do is just very simple. By changing x plus 3 to x plus 4. So when we do that, we have this as x plus 4. But initially, it was x plus 3. Let's subtract 1 from this. Subtracting 1, it means we are still dealing with x plus 3. And also this, we need x plus 4. But it was x plus 6, then we have to add 2. After we have this, since this is regarded as our domain, 
we change every single domain here which is x plus 4 we change it to x by changing it to x this becomes x minus 1 bracket this is x plus 2 this is for f of x and when we open this one out what we get is just very simple as these are the two factors of this quadratic equation x squared plus x minus 2 so a is the result of what we got here using form manipulations let's solve this one in another way round as we are going to compare which of these is very uh, a simple step to solve though both of them are very very important because in this concept now we are able to understand how to factor a quadratic equation without guessing the values so let's move into the second method for the second method of solving this same problem this will not take long time like before here we have f of x plus 4 equals x squared plus 9x plus 18 then in this parenthesis which is x plus 4 we have to replace it with another thing another letter suppose i choose x plus 4 and i let it to be small letter x so these are two different things they are representing different things the same letter but different representation this is capital x and this is small x I want to make this capital X the subject of the formula. What we do is we transfer 4 to the other side and we have X equals X minus 4. So here, which is X squared, we need to get X squared from here. And we only have X. So to do that, we have X squared, which is equals X minus 4 raised to the power of 2. So expanding this out, we have it as X squared minus 8x plus 16 and also we need to find 9x so for every 9x we have it as 9 into bracket of x minus 4 with the result of this gives us 9x minus 36 and 18 is just 18 then let's come back and replace everything therefore we have f of x plus 4 it changed to f of x equals then we are going to have sorry this is confusing right this is 9x and uh, this is also 9x so for every x squared we have it as x squared minus 8x plus 16 and also plus 9x which has been changed to 9x minus 36 then plus 18 and we solve this one further we have this as x squared minus here is minus 8 plus 9 that gives us plus x and uh, we have minus 16 um here is minus 36 and uh, here is plus 18 everything gives us plus plus 2 i think so plus 2 yeah so this plus this that gives us 34 then 34 minus 36 so it gives us minus 2 Therefore, we are going to replace f of x as x squared plus x minus 2. So, we got the same answer using different approach. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.